Hi, here we are again to continue um, studying JavaScript and learning about objects and continue working on our, our online quiz. Okay, uh, in the last uh, video we set up our, um, our questions, right, in a data structure that was, you know, fairly complex, right? It, it has an array and then all the items in the array are, in, are objects and within that object we have several properties one of which is another array of of questions right um, so anyway if you are done here you probably have a list of questions I made a list of one two three four questions right and I could add more to my list and our our, our um, project will be dynamic right it's gonna just generate one question for every item in the array here okay so what will our um, our questions look like in the DOM right so let's go up to the body tag and we'll need to have some kind of container for the question so I'm going to put a div here and uh, maybe we'll give this an ID of quiz and a class name of container and we can actually give it a class name of quiz also so we'll put those both on there right and our content will be here quiz questions here right so I'm just gonna put a anytime I have dynamic content I like to put a comment there to remind me that I'm gonna put something in here right so anyway so our questions are gonna go in here but we're gonna have to generate them right okay so if we've uh, defined this array of questions here in our script let's scroll to the bottom so below that uh, let's define a function to um, you know generate the quiz so I'll make a function here I'm gonna call it in it for initialize right and then what I want to do is I want to call my init function right so I'll, I'll have this here I'll this will run all the code or it'll contain all the code and then this will like activate it and make it run right okay and there's kind of gonna be a lot of code to write for this um, you know we got to go through several steps right we have to you know um, you know maybe we need to you know loop through the array of questions um, and then we need to um, you know for each question actually you know for for each question we'll need to um, we'll need to uh, you know make some HTML right and then what does that HTML look like right so you know it's probably gonna be I'm gonna do it this way as a form right and then every form will have a you know maybe it'll have an uh, you know a title of some kind followed by a list you know it'll be like a UL actually maybe we'll just use the names here this will be like an h1 maybe and the UL and then each question will be inside this UL as an LI, right? So, so I'll have a whole list of, of these guys here. And then maybe at the end, we'll have a button, right? So this will be like a submit button, right? And then, you know, we'll also need to have something to show like whether you got the question right or not or maybe you didn't submit the question and so we want to prompt you like hey you know please ch make a choice right so um, and you can see that here in the original quiz I've got the text up here right so so this would be our title this would be our list of questions and then there's our submit button and if you you know if you get the question right or wrong we'll have this um, this little uh, alert message let's call it right so let's sneak that in here too in my original quiz I put it between the um, the h1 here and I just made it a div with the class name alert so um, so anyway so we got to make a structure that looks like this and it looks pretty good so far I think form we got h1 div alert ul li right um, and then a button like a submit button right something like that so we'll have to make one of those but we'll have to make one for every item or every question 
in our, our, our array of questions, right? So let's, uh, let's do that, right? So um, how do we loop through the array? So um, there's several ways to do that. We can use a for loop like this. Um, another way though that we can do it is we can use a for each. So, and I put for each here, right? So uh, for each is a method of array. So if we take the questions array and we say dot for each, for each takes a, a callback. So essentially a callback is a function that you give as a parameter to another function. So here we would be calling um, for each on questions, right? So we're calling this method for each and we're gonna give for each a function. So you'll notice here I, I type the entire function syntax inside the as inside the parentheses as a parameter for for each and then I'm going to uh, put return here right so I can type all my code each you know on, on, on a new line and then this function right here that we give to for each for each is going to look at every question or every item in questions and for each of those items it's going to pass that item into this function so we can run code on that item. So what I'll do here is I'll put the name question there and that's the name that I'm assigning to every item that that for each is going to put in here. So essentially for each is going to grab each one of these question objects and feed it into this function and it'll do it once for each item that it finds in the questions array. Okay, so let's test that out. So now remember from the last video, we, uh, we talked about how you access items from an object and you do it with the key. So why don't we do this as a quick test, right? We'll say, you know, uh, let's do questions dot for each, right? And, and actually we're at this step right here. So I'll put that up there as our pseudocode, right? And, uh, you know, we're gonna log the question dot and then we'll, let's do the queue because remember every question has a queue property which is the text of the question let's log that right so um if i go to my uh, my page here let me actually open up our um html document here i'm going to open that up in my browser and if i inspect let's see what we got here i'm going to go to the console there and i got four undefined hmm i got a problem there let's see if we can figure it out um I'm going to take off the dot Q. Oh, because I put questions with an S. I think it um, auto-completed for me there, right? So I'm going to say question dot Q, right? So I misspelled that one, and let's uh, see it. Oh, yeah, so it says, what is Walden Samkite? What is Wabi Sabi, right? Okay. Um, this is a problem. We're going to have to fix that later, but we'll, let me come to that later. It's a special character, so we'll need to use an HTML entity, right? But it looks like everything's working, right? And so if I wanted to get like to know which was the correct answer, then I could say, um, let me see, why is this thing, oh, let me close that, right? Um, if I wanted to get the correct answer, remember we use the property correct to uh, say which answer was correct. So if I, if I log this to the console now, you can see it says, you know, wabi-sabi, answer is zero, right? Okay. Um, so that's working pretty good. So now what are we going to do? Well, the goal here is to make a form, right? And then when we're done doing this, we're going to add that form to our to the DOM. You know, we'll actually put it inside this um, element here with the ID quiz, okay? So that means that we'll have to get this element first before we can add anything to it. So let's go do that. So I'm gonna go into init here and let's say uh, const, um, let's call it quiz element, right? And then we'll say document dot get element by ID. We'll say ID name is quiz. There should only be one of those. And now what we want to do is we want to create a, a, you know, some HTML markup that we can add to this thing, right? So what we'll do is we'll, bef actually before we, we run the for loop here, 
let's define a variable. I'm going to make this a let because we're going to modify it with each pass through the for loop. So I'm going to call this, let's call it um, quiz string equals an empty string. And now with each loop here, what we'll do is we'll say um, quiz string uh, plus equals. So we're going to append to the quiz string. And I'm going to use the back ticks here. This is the template string. Remember, it's the slanted quotation marks. It's up to the left of the number one. And what I want to do, you can add a line return in these too. So what I want to do here is I want to add a form like this. And then inside this form, I'm going to make an H1, right? So this will be my markup. This will be my question. And then inside this H1 here, what I want to do is I want to grab the question and put the question text here, okay? So let's just do that to get started. Let me actually get rid of these console log messages, right? And if I've got this, when I'm done, I'm still not going to see anything in the DOM unless I add this quiz string to the DOM. So after the for loop is, or the for each loop is completed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the quiz element and say dot inner HTML equals uh, the quiz string. Okay. So hopefully that should make a, you know, four forms, each with an H1 that has the, the quiz text in it or the question text. Hey, there we go, right? So I've got what is Walden's, I gotta go practice my German, right? Uh, Waldein Samkite, right? Okay. So that's looking pretty good so far, but now we have like a complicated kind of thing to do here. Inside here, we wanna also have a UL that will have a list of questions in it, right? And this is where it gets a little more complicated because we're gonna have a loop within our loop, okay? So you can try that on your own. Um, I'll go over it here too, but let's maybe we'll put that in its own video because this is getting a little bit long. But the idea here is we have um, an array of, of questions here, right? And we want to um, make list items for each one of these and insert them in here. And then we'll also maybe want to randomize those so they're not always in the same order. So you can see here like if I if I refresh this the the order of the of the answers is always different, right? So so we'll want to do that here. You can give that a try. We'll leave the randomization out for now. All we got to do is just list them in order, okay? And, uh, and then maybe I'll do that in the next video, but you can try it on your own. Okay, so thanks for watching.